Welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Today I am in the Keyboard Concept Showroom in Santa Monica, California. And this is my friend Katie Ward. She is a student at UCLA. What year are you, Katie? I'm a senior. Are you really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so she drove over here so that we could do our lesson on this new Bosendorfer 225. It's a seven foot four polished ebony piano with uh, how many keys, Katie? What's 88 plus four? Uh, 92. <laughs> yeah, will you play them for us? Look at that. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, so that's a cool feature. And um, $138,000. So we're being very careful. Yeah. <laughs> um, Katie, let's do some warm ups. Can you tell me a few songs that you're like super, super comfortable with? You could, you could say the changes fast, like you okay. know them. Okay, um, There Will Never Be Another You, and All The Things You Are, and It Could Happen To You. I think those are three that I'm pretty comfortable That's great. With. Let's, uh, let's choose There Will Never Be Another You. Okay. And let's do this. You play me some rubato chords on it. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to improvise some lines over your rubato chords. Okay. All right. Go for it. Start E flat. Right. E flat major. Oh, E flat major. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um usually play in B flat. Oh, okay. you do? Let's yeah. do it in B flat then. Okay. We can do it. Uh, yeah, it's just better singing key. Love it. Yeah. Katie sings and plays. I'm a, I'm more of a singer than a player. Really. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> but today you wanted to work on your, I wanted to work on scat singing, scat phrasing. singing and rhythmic phrasing, like rhythm and phrasing. Mhm. Mm and um, and your piano accompanying. Yes. Too, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll just do my, my best on the piano. I'm gonna switch then. I'm gonna change my mind. Okay. <laughs> just scoot over right here. And now, what we're gonna do is I'd just like to play these rubato chords for you and have you um, sing ideas and play them. Just nice and slow ideas. Uh, want me to give you an example? Sure. Yeah, okay, so. Something okay. like that? All right, I see. Is that good? Okay. okay. You have really nice ideas. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. Let's um, well, let's do it in time once, and this time, just sing me ideas. Okay. Uh, oh no no no! First we're gonna do like this. Um, I'm gonna start an idea, and you're gonna finish it. Okay. All right. One two three four. Da 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 da. Katie, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. 
Like, I couldn't have imagined that going any better than that. That was amazing. <laughs> that was Thank really you. cool. What, what do you like about that? Um, I liked copying you somewhat, but then kind of deviating into my own thing a little bit at the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's helpful to have a place to start, you know? I thought it was helpful to have somebody to finish it for me. <laughs> and you finished it so nicely. And then sometimes I could take ideas from how you finished it and start like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's so fun to do. And I rarely get to do it. Like, there aren't yeah. that many people that can do this. <laughs> Let's do it the other way. Okay. All right, your turn. Two, okay. uh, one, two, three, four. Let's try for, um, well, let me hear you sing this line. How do you think you did on it? I think it was a little heavy, like, I needed to add some more lighter like, you know, like, da 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 Keep the same line, the same contour, but make the notes fit for the new chord. Okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> the exact same notes would have worked, wouldn't they? Yeah, almost. What scale are we in there? The B flat major. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then? Um, a, a Locrian to D altered or yeah. so, a bunch of other things. Yeah, so B flat. <laughs> major can turn into a low key yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it can turn into a or d altered which is amazing yeah um keep going uh same, but same line yeah same line again beginning though <laughs> good what notes did you use there play them for me B flat major? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or B flat mixolydian. Yes, B flat mixolydian. Good call. <laughs> um, and, and maybe you could have thought of it as in when we were over the F minor. F chord. minor Dorian. Yes, totally. <laughs> That's a little weird then. Oh no, I, I did this. I thought maybe you were on a G. I was like, yeah, you're right. That would be hard. That would be cool. Yeah. It's a little hard to hear. <laughs> hard see, to if you, see if you can hear it in context. I can do it, but it doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's a little low for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably better to go for that for the root instead of reaching for that yeah. dominant seven. That was great though. Um, all right. Now let's let's try some triplets. Okay. I like your phrasing. I I mean I feel like you've um I feel like maybe you copied me somewhat. And and that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Flattering is it true? <laughs> yeah. That video where you were like, listen to it twenty times. I actually did that. You did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but some people that they just don't like that. Like some people love, you know, Ella Fitzgerald's crazier syllables. And yeah. and I love 
it when Ella does it, but I don't. It doesn't feel like me, so I don't. So you kind of have to decide that on your own. Yeah, I feel like you feel where I feel like it gets in the way of my music, mm -hmm. and like I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's more of a piano player sensibility or not. I don't know why, like why I feel that way and why you feel that way. But I, I always say that I, I don't want, I don't want people thinking when I'm scat singing, that's a weird thing to do. Yeah, uh, for me it's like I want to be treated like an instrumentalist, you know, where it's just about the music. And when they try to like force all this other stuff on us because we're singers, it kind of bothers me. So I'm like, no, I'm just gonna do like the simplest syllables possible. Cause do you have some teachers yeah. at UCLA that are helping you with that? Um, Michelle does when we have lessons, which we do this quarter. Michelle Weird, nice. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's about it. It's just Michelle. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really talk about syllables. She more talks about like swing feel and like just like ideas and things like that. I think swing feel and syllables kind of go hand in hand though. Yeah. You agree? Yeah, oh, she does say that like on like fast passages especially you need to like go some notes like do and do and do and so like do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you have any, um, tongue agility exercises that you work on? No, you know? I feel like I'm not very good at that. Have you seen my video called How to Scat Sing Super Fast or some, something like that? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I say in that one, but but I do have ideas about, about triplets and 16th notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and how to phrase them. Um, that's good, I'm glad, I'm so glad that Michelle Weir is teaching at UCLA. Yeah. I, I, love, I love everything she has to say. Um, Although I don't know that she, um, I don't know that she waits as long as I do for my offbeats. She kind of, I think she's one of those emphasize the upbeat people. I think so too. How do you find in the pedagogy that you get, do you think that most people are like that? I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. As my old piano teacher was like that for sure, and it's been a hard habit for me to break. And then like when I, when I sing in Michelle's class, last quarter she told me it almost sounded like I was almost straight, mm -hmm. which I think I got from you. And she was, and she said she didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great big old compliment. But <laughs> yeah, uh, it yeah, it depends. I mean, I I learned from um, Hal Galper when I was in college at just a clinic I, I had with him that that singing straight is a is an option sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I I dig it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the it's the difference between going. Yeah. And you do it the other way. Yeah. So we're giving the what are we giving the emphasis? The the downbeat. The downbeats. Yeah. yeah. Every beat, every quarter note, pretty much. Maybe not everyone, but especially the upper notes of the, the contour. One, three. Yeah. Yeah. And the one three. We can accent that one. Yeah. yeah. Like that's a hard thing for me to teach is to, you know. It's a hard thing to remember in the moment, you know? <laughs> yeah, but I, I do tend to think that because I started out being taught to accent off beats, and so did you. Yeah. It comes naturally. It's, yeah, it's a hard, it's been hard for me to break out of that. I still, like, find myself doing scales like. Mm. like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's up to you, Katie, like, I, if you chose to start, you know, to, to phrase that way, I wouldn't blame you one bit. I just um, I just went on some journey when I was about your age where, <laughs> yeah. I, where I quit doing it. And I, to me, it just made everything smoother. Tell me, I wanna help you more with your scat singing and I wonder what else you wish you could do because you're doing all of this really well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I feel like sometimes I'm meandering and not melodic. Like I don't make statements, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, that's something I feel like I could work on. And then also, like I'm doing okay on this song because I know it really well, but there's like other songs that I do that I feel like I, I get lost yeah. kind of easily. Um, I'd like to hear you all in context one pass at this. Okay, do you want me to sing the head? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, sure. Um, you count it off and tell me, you, would you like me to keep kind of a two feel sometimes? And Yeah, yeah, two feels good. Okay. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, there we go. Nights like this, I'd all be standing here with someone new. There will be other songs to sing, another fall, another spring, but there will never be another you. There will be other lips that I make. 
like you meandered but you didn't you kind of didn't think you would could you because you knew this song really well yeah right um I think I mean it was super nice like I'll be picky if I have to pick something that I think you should do but I guess that's why we're here um I'd like to hear soaring lines um especially as you get into the second half um okay. a line that that maybe lasts four bars yeah, yeah, that was something I always had trouble with. On piano, too, was creating longer lines. Mm -hmm. Like, because after a while, I get lost, you know? Does that mean that you <laughs> that you quit knowing which notes you're singing? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I get to a point where it's like I hear a different chord than what's happening or something, uh -huh. and I'm singing, like, the wrong <laughs> changes. Yeah, oh, hold something on a second, weird. Katie. Oh. What note is that? C. That? Uh, E. Um, E flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katie's got perfect pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm going faster. <laughs> no. I just want to, you know, prove a little point. So how, how often, uh, what percentage of the time would you say while you're scat singing that you actually know the note you're singing, the note name? Mm, probably only like 30% of the time. <laughs> but at any given point, if I stopped you, you'd probably know. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not thinking about it. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this this line, like, uh, or mm -hmm. something like that, and I know exactly what it is. Right. But other times I'm kind of just, like, trying to look through the changes and figure out what to do. Do you ever um, just forget what the chord name is and just trust your ears and... Um, yeah, yeah, I guess I do that, yeah. I, I, yeah, I have trouble scatting on songs that I don't know super well. Cause, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which is a good reason to know a lot of songs super well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, if I, sometimes I'll, I'll take this um, idea, it, it's just a concept, but if I, um, if I want to think of ideas that are different, that I don't normally think of, and, and especially if I want to, I don't know, reach for a long period like that, maybe four bars or something. I just say to myself, L let's get chromatic. And then, uh, so let's say the second half of the tune's coming around. If you take all the notes that you normally would sing, like, um, and fill in the holes between them, okay. you know, yeah. with chromatic notes, you can think okay. of things that are new to you. I, I don't know. It's just a little something I use sometimes. Okay. Give it a shot. Can I, can I play the piano? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it'll help. Okay. Um... Um, the only thing that you're messing up is that you're not landing on chord tones yeah, where you need yeah. to land on chord tones. And if you don't, it's okay. You just have to fix it right away. Okay. So if you're, um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, <laughs> if, you know, if, if you don't hit one, you can always enclose. Yeah. If, if you're a half step away from a chord tone, that's one way to fix your problem is to enclose it. That means to go a half step above, half step below, and then hit it. 
Um, let's say that you're below it. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> right? It, yeah. So, so you go up and hit it, but then to make it sound like you meant to, you can do the exact same thing with the next chord tone. <laughs> like that. And, yeah. and that tends to build a diminished scale as well. If you oh, approach yeah. every chord tone by half step. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which is a, which is a neat sound. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so you're approaching the D, F sharp, A, and C yeah. by half step. Yeah. I tend to think that's a good way to practice scales in general, especially on the piano in every key to approach every chord tone by half step like that. How would you how would you do that? Well, you just play yourself a you play yourself a nice little chord down here like like uh, maybe A flat 7. And then Ooh. You can you can usually do it just with 1 2 1 2. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and you can go down too. Yeah. 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 Oh. I do the root and the 7. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Cool. And and then Make yourself sing them and don't play oh. them. <laughs> Try that one. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. amazing. I was getting them wrong. I'm like, where is she? <laughs> no, that was great. Okay, so that in mind, try again a little chromatic concept in your sky singing on uh, second second half. Okay, singing. <laughs> yes, just like singing, just singing. I know. Why is it easier to touch the piano? Uh, because the notes are like right there. <laughs> They're exact. <laughs> yeah. If you sing a little flatter sharp, yeah. just your voice, you could get lost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, people think that it's harder to scat and play in unison, but it's not, is it? No. Yeah, it's Especially a crutch. Especially if you know a lot of licks, uh -huh. you know? You just, you're just singing the licks that you're playing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's helpful because sometimes... Sometimes as a piano player, you know, you know licks that just fit in your fingers. Yeah. And then, and then your brain hooks up with it, your voice hooks up with it, and there you go. As a singer, you also know a lot of licks. I think it just makes it the most fun for you and I, right? Like, the most fun for us, because we got all of this, and we got all of this, and we can put them together. Well, but is that your goal someday? Or do you want to play and sing, or do you just want to sing? I do want to play and sing. Want to play and sing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most fun. Yeah. Um, okay, one more time on chromatic, and then we're going to move you over here and work on your piano playing a little, if that's okay. That's fine, yeah. Well, let's have you start uh, here. Da, 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 da. With okay. that. Two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Would you normally sing that? I think so. I've actually sung that before. You have? Something like that. That's a great line. <laughs> I love that line. Yeah. Uh, that's a Katie, Katie line right there. Um, so I wanted your line to soar. So let's get into it from the last uh, secondary dominant chord there to, to come into the oh, second so half. so you want me to try to make longer lines? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so now I, I'd like your line that starts on this sharp four of B flat. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> that was a great line. That was eight bars. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I killed it. Um, you probably you probably should have ended it after four, but oh, but you, but the place you went with it was so good that I I didn't dare stop you, and uh, you know maybe halfway through the tune is too soon to do a line that oh. lasts that long, but on your second chorus, yeah, for sure. Uh, all right, let me give it a shot at one. The, I don't I can do any better. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. 
So, I don't know. I just made one break. Yeah. Because, I I don't know. If people don't take breaks, I feel like they're full of themselves. And they're, <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, all, they're like, look how long I can go. Still going. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think that when John Coltrane does it. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, you have to be very good at it, though. I, I, I like to hear people take breath. Yeah. Um, did that, does that give you a little more to work on? Yeah, yeah. I definitely need to work on doing longer lines. Adding yeah. triplets would help. Adding triplets, yeah. Um, da-da-da-do, da-da-da-do. Da-da-da-do. da 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 do I think. da 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 Sometimes, if I do this, and I do do that sometimes, I take a note from Bobby McFerrin and uh, like do we a do we a do we a do we a. I think that's easier for me, but um, yeah, it's legato. You were doing it like. Did I? I don't think I. Maybe I started it that way, and then I realized that it's hard, yeah. so I didn't keep it up. But yeah. It's a nice idea to go through the whole form of the song doing that. Then that'll come out sometimes when you least expect it, which is cool. But another contour. Uh, it's, it's, it wasn't. It's a. Uh, it's like a pentatonic scale, but you add the. But you add the sharp two in between the two and the three. Uh, like that. So you're accenting the third and the first. Yeah, I need to work on that. Yeah. Da da Let's just say it. Da 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 yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Nice. Um, that that's a great. I mean, I always tell people to learn that. It's it, that's taking a cue from old Dixieland players like Louis Armstrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and a good way to do triplets for sure. Cool, yeah. Do you just practice that like a scale, or do you put it in songs? I like to I like to practice every concept in that song. I can yeah. in, in a tune. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just more fun. True, yeah. But but you're not going to go through every key if you do that. So it's a nice idea to take um, to take the idea, do it, yeah, and then move it up a half step and do it again. Yeah, I think for my practicing, I really respond well to like systematic things mm -hmm. that you can do like every day. Yeah, yeah. Do you Anything have any else? tips for like um, learning to sing bebop lines in like this contest? Sure, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you're singing bebop lines. I do really somewhat, well. but I feel like I need more. <laughs> okay. Playing Donna Lee in all the keys. Oh yeah, is huge. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. I can only play it in the original. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to play in the original. Yeah. Um, I was working on something the other day that was helpful to me. I would um. I would start in some key, maybe C, and I would just play the first lick. Like that. And I would do it with my eyes closed. And then I'd raise it a half step. And, um, and any key that I had trouble in, like maybe F sharp is the toughest one for me. As soon as I realized I had trouble with it, I slowed it down to half time. And what closing my eyes did was make me visualize every note I was gonna play before I played it. So that I wasn't guessing or stabbing. Right. <laughs> Give it a shot in the key of F sharp and we'll scoot oh, over. Oh no, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go 
slower. Don't guess. Okay. And try to see it. No. <sighs> Can I do it in yeah. the original key for yes. a second? Okay. Okay, with your eyes closed. Yeah. <laughs> Does it, are you looking, are you like looking at a keyboard in your head though? No. Try. I, yeah, I didn't grow up playing piano, so I feel like it's not as natural to me. Mm. But um, I'll try. Okay. Yeah, that's how I saw it. You saw it? Yeah. It was a little easier? <laughs> yeah. Good. It's hard to get to that C. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that'll be helpful for you, but but it is for me. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah, try it. again. Don't, don't do it in time. Oh, okay. Or, yeah. I'd do it even slower. feel that the piano is not your first instrument when you do it. Yeah. Like the fact that you knew it should be a B flat, but you couldn't find it with your finger for a second. That's, a, <laughs> yeah, that's a little disadvantage you've got over being more of a singer than a piano player, I think. Yeah, I've worked really hard at it, but I feel like just the fact that I started at 19 is... <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. That's amazing. What are you now, 22? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 